Hey everybody, Boxing Bow coming back at you again today. I got Cash. Um, he's been he's been breeding a little bit. I've seen a, I've seen him laying on top of the females. I, I witnessed him doing some, uh, you know, where he takes his spurs and tickling the females. I got him. I got him in with two females. Um, haven't witnessed any for sure lockups, but at least he's working and he just shed out. So that's good. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys today about is uh, the Nido virus, the Nardo virus. Um, it's been around since the early to mid 90s. It was first found in ball pythons. Um, it has since been found uh, recently. It was, I've talked about it before, but it was recently found in green tree pythons and in carpet pythons. Um, it's, it's been talked about in a couple podcasts and by other people. Um, it is a deadly respiratory infection. There is no cure for it. Um, now, um, it looks like it's, tra it's not airborne or anything like that. It looks like it's transferred through like bodily fluids, like water bowls, um, snakes being together, one has it, the feces, the urates, um, breeding, stuff like that, um, which is why quarantine is so, so important. But, uh, I want to give a big shout out to, um, Scattershotic, scatter, ah, uh, how do you say his name? Scattershot Exotic, sorry. Um, he's the first guy to come out in the carp python community and say he has it. Now, the good thing is, there is a test for it. Um, and you can test for it. So, you know, and, and you want to do probably three or four tests just to make sure. So, say this snake turn, shows positive, but this isn't, you keep them separated. Obviously, you should probably put that that snake down. I hate to say it, but that's probably the best thing to do um, to to keep your collection safe. And then just do probably another two or three more uh, tests to make sure that snake don't have it, and you should be okay. So, why it is something to be concerned about and something to worry about? Don't overreact, thinking just because your snake has a respiratory infection, you know. And I can see this getting out of control, like IBD and bows, where everybody, what are you talking so much for? Um, where everybody thinks their bow's got IBD when it don't. It's just, you know, bad breeding, bad keeping, uh, you know, the way they're, they're housed, mites, just, there's a whole host of other issues. So don't just think just because your python has a respiratory infection, you have it. But, um, I'll leave a, you know, um, I'll try to leave a link to the description to this video, but here it is. Uh, please let me know if that's coming in focus. Is that in focus? All right, that's the that's the Facebook page, okay? Um, I just I just love how he's being honest about it. Now the good thing is, and let me go to it, is um, you can contact this uh, vet. Well, it's it's not really a vet. It's a vet, but it's a place where you can do the test, and it's called uh, vetdna.com, okay? And I'll definitely leave a link to the description below, but here it is. Okay. And you can order the test. Now, they do have a contact information so you can get a hold of them and ask them. And, and basically, they, they send you the test. I think they overnight it to you. It's a nasal swab and a mouth swab. And you, you overnight it back to them, and you should have your test results back within a day. So if you're concerned about it, or you think that you could be dealing with this potential issue, there's a test for it. I think the test is like 50 bucks. Um, it's well worth it. Um, I know, you know, you're thinking, well, if I have, you know, 40 snakes, or I have 10 snakes, or even if you have one snake, $50 is worth testing all your snakes for each test. Um, it's just a way to be precaut use excellent precaution this is a prevent this is a disease that we can stop but it takes us testing our animals if you think you have it you know if you have any doubt if you have any lingering questions if you just want to be sure you can test this and get this knocked out of the way this is something that you know there's a test for so there is hope for this now yes there is no cure for it but we can prevent other animals from having it you know, and this is why it's so important to, to keep your animals separate unless you're breeding, then obviously you have to put them together. But this is why cohabitating 
unless you're doing a breeding pairing is not suggested this is just another reason um you know so this is just some what are you talking so much for today buddy you are just being a talker um but this is just definitely something to be con to be aware about be concerned be using ca use caution but don't panic don't go putting animals down that don't need putting down take get the test do the test double check it triple check it you know it, it's well worth the money so please I just I want to get that information out there for everybody because this is vital information that I think is is excellent and the good thing is like I keep saying there is a test vet DNA it, there's a test I'll leave a link to the description um, Mike big yeah, scattershot exotics thank you so much for being open and honest because it's been rumored that um, it's been put in podcasting green tree pythons um, that a collection has it and it's not him it, he's the first one to come out with it in carp pythons but that's the thing there's so many guys that know the truth out there um, I watched some podcasts that were really good uh, Port Cities Python did one uh, Morial weekly radio or whatever it's called did one and they wouldn't name names you know and I hate that because it's like you're not trying to throw the people under the bus but be honest don't give me innuendos and say well we know this is out there but you know we've talked to say who it is that way somebody that might be possibly ordering from that person or has ordered from that person can now take precautions and go and get a test done just to be safe they might not have it but I, I can't stand these these guys that do that. I, I have much respect for the podcast and, and these guys that do the podcast, but when you sit there and give innuendos and don't give full information, that's bogus. That's just straight up bogus. That's wrong. Why is it wrong? Why, do I, why am I uh, attacking that so much? Because it's not right. If you know who has this and you've talked to them, you know, you have a responsibility to let other people know this. So that way they can take precautions just in case they've purchased an animal from you. You know, or they've done a breeding loan with you, or they have, you know, they've come into contact with your collection. You know, that's what's so awesome about Scattershot is Alex. He's the first guy to come out and say, yes, I'm dealing with this. So all these other guys are cowards. And just because they're afraid of their reputation, won't say it. And you know I just think that's wrong and if you know who has it you need to speak up and say something because if you don't it's gonna happen what what happened and this is why I'm so hard on this this happened with IBD okay back in the day everything was you know backdoor room stuff people knew people that had IBD but didn't say anything people talked about it well this person has it this person has it and they continued to sell animals you know not for sure if they had it or not and no one said anything and IBD ran rapid there for a couple of years now IBD's gotten a lot more under control um, it's not as bad as people think it is and there is tests for that as well um, but I mean this is the problem that happened at IBD is nobody talked about it nobody said anything nobody let the information out there it was all well I heard this guy boy he is squeezing me hard get that undone Man, buddy, what are you squeezing me so hard for? You silly boy. You silly boy. Such a good boy. But this is what happened with IBD. No one spoke up. Everybody said, well, I think I know, or well, this person, well, you know, I know. But so people continued to do business, and then it came out years later, oh, well, this person, yeah, we all knew that, but nobody said anything. And this is what's happening with this virus. There's guys with green tree pythons. They're not letting the information out they have it. There's guys with carpet pythons out there that are not letting the information out that they have it. There's guys with ball pythons. Um, you know, I, I read a study that there is some of it, the norovirus in BOAS 2 that's been found in Europe in like one or two collections or something like that. Um, but please, if you have it or you know someone that has it for sure, you know, start naming names. Get the information out there so people can start protecting themselves. Stop hiding behind a fake reputation. Be open and honest. I know I am. Uh, I had uh, one of my babies that I just, that I hatched. Ate. Ate perfectly for me. Am I right, Priest? Has yes. had no problems eating for me. It was, a, it was one of the, 
It was a, it was a caramel, ja uh, caramel jungle jag. It ate its meal, fine digesting. Guess what? It died. No rhyme or reason to it. It just died. It happens. But I'm going to be honest because I'm not going to hide anything from people. So this type of stuff, when, when you guys are doing these podcasts, stop. You know, these podcasts are supposed to be informational podcasts, right? And you all claim to, you know, we, we get the truth out there. Yeah, it's your truth. Um, start naming these people. And I know you're not wanting to throw anybody on their bus, but it's better to, to throw somebody on the bus and protect other people than to just, you know, pss, 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 and I'm sorry to be so harsh on it, but it just pisses me off because this is what happened with the IBD outbreak. And I can see it happening here, and so that's why I give Mike at Scattershot Exotics so much prop for being open and honest with this. Thank you so much. Um, sorry this isn't my usual, you know, positive, super happy video and stuff, but this is just a, a, a topic that needs to be talked about. And yes, it is in Europe, you know, the, you know so you guys in the UK that might, you know, and it's also been found in Australia. Um, some skinks, some single back skinks have had it, and they've been having problems for 20 years. They finally figured out, you know, that it that ha it has it too. So it's not just a snake problem. So this is something that we all need to use caution about. Be careful about who you get your reptiles from. You know, be cautious and 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 stop getting these 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 snakes off Craigslist. This is a big problem because you're spreading disease by doing that. Yeah, you get this cheap snake, but you're also getting mites and everything else. You know, yeah, it's a free easy snake or a free hundred dollar snake, but you're causing problems. Now, uh, you know, there are some good people on Craigslist that you can get a good snake from, but you know, when you see a deal that's too good to be true, run. Um, now on some positive things, all right? Like, um, I am starting to feel better with my ear infection, so that is good. I am, I am definitely happy about that. Um, my hair is definitely getting longer, as you guys can see. Um, definitely, you know, I shave my sides. Definitely getting that going, so I'm happy about that. Growing my hair long, getting back to more of my native roots. Um, the priest, you got what? You're off in a week and a half. He actually gets off. He has a whole thing next week, and then he gets off. Your last day is Wednesday yeah. or Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. So then... It'll be nice, the Christmas break, I'll be getting some videos out there. Um, I do want to give a shout out to MT Universe. He's been doing some really good videos. Um, thank you so much for the videos you do. I've really been enjoying them. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Brian uh, Kushko. Um, you know, he does a lot of great things in this hob, in this community. He's out there, he's positive. You know, he don't let the negativity affect him. And I appreciate that about him. Um, I'll leave a link to both our channels down below. But, you know, he's been, he's been really positive. And, and I just want to say thank you so much once again for my 600 subscribers. I hit that goal. I never thought that was possible. Like I said in my last video, I didn't even think I'd get 50 subscribers. Let alone now I have 600. So thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And just watching my videos. It, it means the world to me. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Gotta Love Carpet Python. She's an awesome lady. Um, she's been doing a lot of good videos. You know, um, we agree on some things, we disagree on other things, but she's just a wonderful person that has just a magical voice. Her voice is so soothing. I'm telling you guys, if you watch her videos, her voice is soothing. Um, also, uh, I want to. I'll leave a link in the description to Balls You Ball Pythons. Um, he just did a video on, on how to handle a defensive baby and, and, and tips and tricks. And it's just an excellent video. I'll leave a link to that video because I think a lot of you guys out there that are dealing with this is issue can learn from this video. And he uses the gloves. And a lot of people give slack for people that use gloves. And this is a guy that is using a glove and shows you why it's important. And I just think it's an excellent video that he just did. It just, it just hit on every key point that I've brought up before that he's brought up. It just, it's an amazing video you guys got to check out. So anyway, this is Box and Boa. This is Cash, you know, from Johnny Cash. And then obviously the girl he's bringing is June. And Priest behind the camera. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like, click, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And you know I will get back to you. 
Um, anyway, stay positive. I'm always positive no matter what's going on. I always look at it as being a positive thing. I always learn from things. So thank you so much, you guys. Peace.